ever feel like you're always like one step behind in crypto? Like there's this secret club out there with all the winning plays. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on one of those plays, a really manipulative tactic called spot futures manipulation. It's a strategy that takes advantage of how spot and futures markets are linked. They use that connection to create artificial price swings. And unfortunately, it's often retail investors who end up paying the price. Okay, so let's dive in. Our main source today is some fascinating research by Shiri Wang and Tianyang Zhang titled Spot Futures Manipulations in Cryptocurrency Markets. They dove into data from Binance, which is the world's largest crypto exchange, yeah, and uncovered a pattern that's pretty alarming. What they found is essentially like a playbook used by these sophisticated players. Often they're referred to as market makers, and they essentially game the system. And understanding this playbook, I think, can be so valuable, even if you're not a crypto trader, because it shines a light on, you know, tactics that manipulators use across different markets. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so let's break this playbook down step by step. What's the first move in this manipulative dance? Thank you for tuning in to Quantopian's Quant Radio, your AI-driven podcast exploring everything related to quantitative finance. If you enjoy this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future releases. For more Quant-focused content, join us at community.quantopian.com. There you can explore a wealth of resources, connect with fellow quants, engage in insightful discussions, and enhance your skills through our extensive range of online courses. Quant Radio is intended to help people develop their knowledge and skills in quant finance. This podcast is not intended to provide investment advice. And now, back to the episode. It all starts with what the researchers call the pump. Imagine a cryptocurrency. Let's call it CoinEx, just chilling, trading at a stable price, let's say $10. Suddenly, these market makers, you know, they have a large stockpile of CoinEx, and they start aggressively buying it up on the spot market. So they're artificially pumping up the demand. Exactly. This buying spree creates the illusion of surging interest in CoinEx, pushing the price up, up, up. Let's say in our example, the price jumps to $40. Now everyone's watching CoinEx thinking, whoa, this thing is about to take off. That's where the fear of missing out kicks in. You know, that dreaded FOMO. Totally. You see that price skyrocketing and you don't want to be left behind. So what happens next? Well, that's when our market makers set their trap. They know that all those eyes watching CoinEx's price climb are going to want a piece of the action. And they also know that many will turn to the futures market to try and multiply their gains with leverage. Okay, so for those of us who haven't delved into futures trading, can you quickly unpack how that works and why it's attractive to traders? Sure. Futures trading basically allows you to control a larger position with a smaller amount of capital. So let's say you believe CoinEx is going to keep going up. Instead of buying like $1,000 worth of CoinEx on the spot market, you could use that same $1,000 to control, say, $10,000 worth of CoinEx in the futures market. Ah, uh, so the potential for profit is magnified, but so is the risk, right? Precisely. And that's what these manipulators are banking on. They know that retail investors, driven by FOMO and the allure of those, you know, amplified gains, are going to pile into the futures market, betting that CoinEx's price will keep going up. Okay, so while all these folks are piling into the futures market, hoping to ride the wave, what are the market makers doing? They're quietly taking the opposite position. While everyone else is buying long on CoinEx in the futures market, betting the price will go up, our market makers are secretly shorting the coin. So they're essentially betting that the price will fall. Exactly. They created the initial price surge, they lured everyone into the futures market, and now they're perfectly positioned to profit from the inevitable crash. It's a pretty devious plan when you lay it all out like that. It is. And unfortunately, it plays out all too often. So what happens next? How does this trap actually spring? Well, once the market makers have built up a sufficient short position in the futures market, they move to the next phase of their plan, the dump. They start selling off their massive holdings of CoinEx on the spot market. Remember, they control a big chunk of the supply, so their selling has a huge impact. So the price starts to plummet. Right. And as the price drops, panic sets in. Those retail investors who went long in the futures market, hoping to ride the wave, suddenly see their positions getting liquidated. They're forced to sell at a loss to cover their positions. So it's a double whammy for the retail investors. Exactly. They lose money on their long positions in the futures market, and the value of any CoinEx they might be holding on the spot market also plummets. Meanwhile, the market makers are sitting pretty right. They made money on the pump, and they're making even more money as the price crashes. 
That's right. They close out their short positions in the futures market, locking in their profits. It's a classic buy low, sell high strategy, but with a manipulative twist. And sadly, it often leaves retail investors holding the bag. This is really fascinating, but also pretty disturbing. It's like this hidden mechanism that's working against everyday investors. And what's even more disturbing is that the researchers found evidence of this pattern repeating itself across multiple cryptocurrencies, not just, you know, isolated incidents. So this isn't just some rare occurrence. Not at all. It seems to be a tactic that's unfortunately employed quite frequently. Wow, this is really eye-opening. We've got to break this down even further. Let's dig deeper into the theory behind why this strategy works so effectively. Yes, because knowing how it works is one thing, but understanding why it works can help us you know, arm ourselves against these kinds of schemes. Absolutely. And the core of this manipulation lies in the concept of information asymmetry combined with, you know, some very predictable human behavior. Okay, so let's unpack that. What exactly do we mean by information asymmetry? It basically means that one party in a transaction has more or better information than the other party. In the case of spot futures manipulation, the market makers, the ones orchestrating the scheme, they have a significant information advantage over retail investors. Makes sense. They're the ones with the large holdings, you know, sophisticated algorithms, the deep understanding of market dynamics. Precisely. They have access to real-time data, order flow insights, and often they employ like complex predictive analytics. They're essentially seeing the whole chessboard, while most retail investors are only focused on a few pieces. So it's like they're playing the game on easy mode while everyone else is struggling on hard mode. That's a great analogy. And beyond that information advantage, these market makers also have a deep understanding of human psychology, particularly the behavioral biases that often drive, you know, investment decisions. You're talking about things like FOMO, herd mentality, the tendency to chase quick profits. Exactly. They know that when people see a price shooting up, they're more likely to act impulsively, driven by fear and greed. You know, it's a very primal instinct, a desire to be part of the winning side, to not miss out on a perceived opportunity. I guess it's easy to get swept up in the hype, especially in a fast moving market like crypto. Absolutely. And that's precisely what these manipulators are counting on. They create that hype, they fuel that FOMO, and then they exploit it to their advantage. So they're not just manipulating the market. They're manipulating human psychology. It's a bit unnerving when you think about it. It is, and it underscores the importance of awareness and critical thinking. We need to recognize that markets, especially unregulated markets like crypto, are not always rational. Human emotions play a huge role, and those emotions can be exploited. This all feels a bit theoretical, though. Do you have any real-world examples that can help, like, illustrate how this plays out in practice. Absolutely. In fact, the researchers highlight a very clear example in their paper, the manipulation of a cryptocurrency called Hookus DT on Binance, which occurred back in December of 2023. Okay, so let's walk through that example, set the scene for us. Imagine this, it's Christmas Eve, and most people are, you know, winding down for the holidays. But the crypto market, as always, is humming along. And that's when Hookus DT, a relatively unknown token, starts making some serious moves. Already my spidey senses are tingling. Christmas Eve, low volume, probably fewer people watching the markets closely. Exactly. And that's when you start to see the classic signs of this spot futures manipulation strategy unfolding. Hocus DT was trading at a relatively stable price. And then suddenly there's a huge surge in buying activity on the spot market. The price starts climbing rapidly. And this is the market makers, the puppet masters starting to pump the price right. Precisely. They're using their large holdings to create artificial demand, pushing the price up, up, up. And as the price climbs, it catches the attention of retail investors who are always on the lookout for like the next big thing. The FOMO starts kicking in hard. Everyone's thinking, I don't want to miss out on this potential rocket ship. Right. And that's when they start pouring into the futures market, hoping to amplify their gains with leverage. Remember, futures trading allows you to control a larger position with a smaller amount of capital. But it also magnifies your losses if the market moves against you. So they're playing with fire. Indeed. And meanwhile, the market makers who are behind the initial pump are now quietly building up short positions in the futures market. They know that what goes up must come down, especially when it's been artificially inflated. They're setting the trap. So walk us through how that trap is sprung. What happened with Hocus DT? Well, on December 27th, just a few days after that initial pump, the market makers spring their trap. 
they start selling off their massive holdings of Hookah's DT on the spot market. And because they control such a large portion of the supply, their selling has a huge impact. The price plummets. And what happens to all those retail investors who piled into the futures market, hoping to ride the wave? They get crushed. As the price drops, panic sets in. Those who went long in the futures market, betting the price would go up, suddenly see their positions getting liquidated. They're forced to sell at a loss to cover their positions. So they lose money on their futures positions, and the value of any hook as DT they might be holding on the spot market also plummets. It's a double whammy. Exactly. And meanwhile, the market makers are sitting pretty, they made money on the initial pump, and they're making even more money as the price crashes. They close out their short positions in the futures market, locking in their profits. It's a ruthless strategy, really. But knowing how it works and the theory behind it is a good first step in protecting ourselves. But what can we as individual investors do to protect ourselves? That's the crucial question. And I think it starts with awareness. You know, the more we understand these tactics, the less likely we are to fall prey to them. Knowledge, as they say, is power. I completely agree. But awareness alone isn't enough. We need actionable strategies, tools, you know, something <laughs> to help us spot these manipulations in real time. What should we be looking for? There are several key metrics the researchers highlighted that can serve as like red flags. One is the basis. As we discussed earlier, that's the difference between the futures price and the spot price. A decreasing basis, especially when the spot price is rising, can be a sign that, you know, manipulation is in progress. Okay, so if the futures price is getting closer and closer to the spot price, even as the spot price is going up, that's a warning sign. Exactly. It suggests that something might be artificially inflating the spot price, creating a temporary disconnect between the two markets. Got it. What else should we be watching for? Another important metric is open interest. A sudden surge in open interest, particularly when the basis is decreasing, can be a big red flag. It suggests that a lot of traders, likely retail investors, are piling into the futures market, which, mm. you know, makes the manipulation more effective. So it's like adding fuel to the fire. The more people jump into the futures market, the bigger the potential crash when the manipulator pulls the rug out. Precisely. And finally, keep an eye on the top trader long short ratio. This metric tells us how large, sophisticated traders, the ones who are often behind these manipulations, are positioned in the market. A declining ratio before a price spike suggests that they're betting on a downturn, shorting the coin, while everyone else is going long. Okay, so if I'm seeing these three things happening together, a decreasing basis, a surge in open interest, and a declining top trader long short ratio, I should proceed with extreme caution. Absolutely. Those are all strong indications that you might be walking into, like a carefully orchestrated trap. This is really helpful, but it also feels like a lot to keep track of. Are there any tools or resources that can help make this process easier? Thankfully, yes. There are a number of websites and platforms that track these metrics and, you know, provide alerts when suspicious activity is detected. That's fantastic. So we're not completely on our own here. But beyond these specific tools and metrics, what are some like general principles or mindset shifts that can help us become more savvy investors? One of the most important is developing a healthy sense of skepticism, I think. Don't just blindly follow hype or social media chatter. Dig deeper. Look at the fundamentals of a project. Understand like who's behind it and be wary of anything that seems too good to be true. That's great advice. It's like the old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Exactly. And remember, FOMO, the fear of missing out, is one of the most powerful weapons manipulators use against us. Don't let it cloud your judgment. Take your time. Do your research and make informed decisions based on, you know, solid evidence, not emotional impulses. This has been incredibly insightful. We've gone from the mechanics of manipulation to the psychology behind it, and now to some practical tools and strategies we can use to protect ourselves. Is there anything else you think our listeners should keep in mind as they navigate the often wild world of cryptocurrency? I think it's important to remember that while manipulation is a real threat, it shouldn't scare us away from like the incredible potential of this technology. Cryptocurrency and blockchain have the power to revolutionize many aspects of our lives. I completely agree. It's about being informed, being vigilant, and not letting the bad actors deter us from exploring the vast possibilities that this space offers. Exactly. And as the industry matures, I'm hopeful that we'll see even more robust regulations, better tools for transparency, and a more educated investor base. This has been a truly eye-opening deep dive. We've learned about a manipulative tactic that's often hidden in plain sight, 
explored the theory behind why it works so well, and most importantly, armed ourselves with the knowledge and tools we need to protect ourselves. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of spot futures manipulation. 